everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and here are your card readings for the week starting the 10th of April. I'm using my teacup tarot deck and these are general readings. So take from them everything which resonates with you, leave behind anything that doesn't, but most of all, I really hope you enjoy them. So let's get right on with your readings. This is the reading for Leo. And your overall energy here is the card, the Ten of Teacups. This is the card of emotional fulfillment. It's a happy and rewarding family life. It's quality time with the people that you love and trustworthy and beautiful relationships. This is the happy ever after card. So what a beautiful overall energy for you this week. Your help or your hurdle. The Five of Coins card reminds you to get your focus in a positive place. Now, our lovely angel here, look, she's so focused on the little piggy bank there, which she thinks is empty. She's missing the fact that she's sitting on three coins and there are two right behind her. All she has to do is stand up and turn round. So... Make sure your focus is in a positive place. Make sure you're looking at the bigger picture. And it's also the card that says, ask for some help if you need it. All your resources are right here. It could be somebody helping you, could be all sorts of things, but don't be afraid to ask for some help. It's right there and it's waiting for you. Our guidance is the Four of Teacups. This card reminds you to look at the big picture and make sure you're not missing out on an opportunity. Our lovely angel here, look, she's so focused on these three little teacups which are in the past. She's missing this golden opportunity of a fantastic cup of tea and a teapot right behind her. All she has to do is turn round. So look at the bigger picture. Make sure that you've considered all your options and make sure you're not missing out on an opportunity that's right beside you that you might not be aware of at the moment. How can we help ourselves? The page of wands brings in information. All the pages are messengers and the page of wands brings in news, messages, new opportunities, positive change, new ideas, and creative projects. So moving on from this one, these new opportunities are coming in for you. Make sure you're seeing them all. Have a good look right round. The opportunities are flying in to find you. Make sure you're there and you're awake and you're aware that when they come, they're here for you and you can start working on them. Pulling it all together, the Eight of Wands card tells us that things are likely to get very busy. There's a lot up in the air. Our lovely angels here are juggling all sorts. There's eight different ones here and they're juggling them all at the same time. So you might have lots going on in lots of different areas of your life. It also says that after a time when things have been a little bit slow or a little bit delayed, expect delays are over now, expect things to get busy. And our outcome card, the Knight of Coins, reminds you to make detailed plans. Now, all the knights in the deck have motorbikes and the Knight of Coins is the only one not riding theirs because they're looking at the map, making sure all the details are in place. The Knight of Coins makes plan A, plan B and plan C if necessary. Then when the Knight gets back on the bike, she can move straight off. Not only will she know exactly where she's going, she'll know exactly how to get there. So careful and detailed planning is key for you this week. So to clarify with the Time to Shine deck, the One of Emotion card says it's time to enjoy improving intuition. It can sometimes mean a new home, 
but positive emotional experiences coming in. Pay attention to those little nudges from the universe, all that, those little signs, those lovely little pieces of information, listen to them, look out for them. They're here to help you. Trust that intuition. The five of thought card reminds you it's time to move in a new direction. Focus on new plans, learn from the past, learn from experience and be ready with this brilliant new plan. This is about planning. This is your brilliant new plan. It's going to move you in this positive new direction. And the zero of wisdom card, the first card in the whole deck said it's time to follow your dreams. Enjoy new opportunities coming in. You may need to step out of your comfort zone a little bit. Know that you can and be ready to take that leap towards these lovely opportunities. Here they are here and here they are again. And the three of action says it's time to dream big dreams, enjoy abundance, make those new plans and keep moving forward. This is about taking these new steps forward. This is looking at the big picture, long-term planning. The eight of action, a double message. It's the same card from a different deck. Enjoy a busy new energy coming in, the end of delays, lots going on at once and success. And finally, the six of thought, it's time to move on, enjoy an improving situation. It can mean taking a holiday sometimes, but principally it's moving on, delays are over, taking those new steps forward and enjoying this wonderful new improving situation. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button, make the bell ring, then you'll get notified when I do the next one for you. So take care now and I'll see you soon.